Welcome back, guys. So we're just gonna jump into it. I'm not really an intro gal. Not really into the intros. So <laughs> let's get into the video. Today, I wanted to talk about a quick kind of like down and dirty on handling anxiety as a new nurse. It can be so unbelievably overwhelming to be a nurse and to be a new nurse at that. So finding ways to manage your pre-shift and even like post-shift anxiety with all of those thoughts running through your head is so, so important. So I'm going to give you some advice and just a few thoughts that I have about anxiety as a new nurse and how we can fix these things to hopefully enjoy the career that we work so hard to have right? Like you didn't just study in school for four years to be so riddled with anxiety before your shift that you don't want to go. First, if you are struggling with anxiety, like severe crippling anxiety, you need to see a provider to see what options they have for you and how they can help you. Whether that be a doctor or a psychiatrist or something of that sort that can really help you dive deeper into why you're feeling so anxious about these things. That's number one. And if you're feeling anxious before you go into work, every time you go to work, you really should consider the floor you're working on and see what environmental factors are kind of playing into that. Are you anxious because of the patient care and because of the things that you have to do? Or are you anxious because of some external factor that you can't really fix by just being the best version of you, you know? So you have to first dive into like, why are you feeling anxious and what is causing you to feel this way so that you can find the solution that works best for you. I've been a nurse for about a year now and a lot of the things that made me anxious when I first started in the ER have dissipated. I don't worry about what kind of patients are going to come through the door because I feel supported, I feel knowledgeable, and I feel overall prepared for the kinds of things that happen. And if I'm not prepared, if I don't know what's going on, I have a really good team behind me that's able to help me. A lot of the things that I dealt with in the beginning, the fear of what was to come and the fear of not knowing things, that it has lessened for me. I also have taken some time and will continue to take time to look up things that I don't know. Something that helped dissipate my like pre-shift anxiety a ton was just looking into like, what medication are we using? Listen, okay? Studied and studied and like did super well in farm. And let me tell you, there I will still get a drug for a patient and I'm like, what? what is that? I remember being in a few code situations early on and I was like, ah, I recognize these. I'm not really sure why we're using them right now. I know that they are for this process, but I don't know why we're using them or what they're doing to the body. So I started looking things up as often as I could. Just anytime I didn't know something, anytime a medication has like a standard of practice that you use it for, for instance, like Keppra. We give Keppra all the time in the ER and you have to push it over five minutes. Well, I had done this a bunch. Push Keppra over five minutes, push Keppra over five minutes. And I was like, why? Why do I have to push this over five minutes? Like what is happening to the body? So I looked it up and started seeing different science behind it. And that process really helped me understand like, oh, well, this is why. So honestly, using your resources, Google, uh, my old textbooks, I will actually still reference them just to see these like different types of processes that people go through, the different body systems, what's being affected, how this is working, so that I feel more confident in my work day. All to mitigate the anxiety that I was feeling when I first started. I also ask my doctors so many questions. Pro tip, do not ever assume that the order that the doctor puts in is correct. There are some standard things that you'll get familiar with and you'll know, oh yeah, I'm gonna give one gram of this. I'm gonna give 500 of this. Like that will become more familiar to you. But if you don't know the drug, like look at what the order is saying. Do some research on your own to help the fear of like making a mistake or doing something incorrectly kind of also dissipate as you educate yourself. Ultimately, the, the more you question and the more you educate yourself on the things that you're doing and the things that you use every day in your practice, it will help your anxiety so much. Learning more and asking questions and ultimately doing things to better yourself in your practice is going to help mitigate anxiety tenfold. You're going to feel so much better when you feel knowledgeable about your job. Taking hold of your education and taking hold of, I'm, <laughs> talking so much with my hands. <laughs> Taking hold of what's in your power to change is imperative to feeling better. And I'm telling you, it will help you feel so much better. So all of that to say, work to expand your practice, work to know more, and that will help you so much. Another thing that I think is super important with pre-work anxiety is just like finding things that work for yourself. Uh, I like to go to the gym. I'm getting better at that. If you're 
watching this, go check out my vlog series where I'm like actively trying to be a more whole person and a more like put together individual. Go check those out. I'll link a video above. But finding things that relieve you and take the stress from work away is so important. Whether it be walking, running, working out, um, playing with your children, playing with your dogs, painting, writing, reading. There's so many things that you can do, but you have to find what works for you. I'm not a huge reader. I'm trying to be better because I know it's very good for me, but I'm just not a huge reader right now. But I do like to go for walks. I love going for a walk, listening to music, clearing my head, and just like overall getting, getting things out of my brain and not taking it home. So to jump into something else that I think is important with work anxiety as a new nurse, do not take work home. Whatever you do, find a way. If you have to work an hour away from your house so that you can sit in the car for an hour and cry about your day or yell or scream or talk on the phone, I'll any time that I have a crazy day or a rough patient or something that just blows my mind that my non-medical husband will not understand, I will call one of my friends and be like, I just need to decompress after this crazy freaking day. Let's talk. And if you need the hour to do that, then work an hour away from your home. If you need 10 minutes to decompress, work 10 minutes away from home, sit in your car. There may be better options for you. You don't have to work an hour away, but you can sit in your car. If you're 10 minutes away from your house, sit in your car when you get home and take a deep breath. Like listen to something motivational, clear your head, talk to people, get what is on your chest off and shut it off when you walk through your front door. When I first started in the ER, I saw so many horrific things and I would come home and cry. And I didn't know what to do with like all of the pent up emotion that I was feeling and watching people lose people that they loved was unimaginable. And I wasn't prepared for that. I don't know why, because I knew that these things would happen. I knew that people would die. I knew that terrible things caused people to come to the ER, but I didn't quite, I just wasn't quite ready or I didn't, I didn't prepare myself to deal with them. So the first time that I had something tragic happen, I came home and I just like cried and I stayed in bed like all weekend. And I just thought about the family and this event and the things that happened for these people and how crazy it was. And then I went in this like downward spiral of like life and the world and was it all mean? And I was like, you got to chill out. <laughs> From that, I was able to kind of talk to my coworkers and talk to myself. I did talk to my husband about it and reflect. When I say talk to myself, I mean I reflected on what happened and how these things are going to happen and how I can deal with them, how I will cope with them and how I will release them so that I don't have to carry the burden of loss or tragedy all the time because no one wants that. So finding ways to let go of the hurt and the pain that you feel and that other people feel is very important to help you continue to thrive as a nurse. Every floor experiences loss. Everybody who is a nurse is going to experience this at some point. And you have to have really good, healthy coping mechanisms to make sure that it's not deeply affecting you. And therapy is a great one. To wrap this up, going back to the beginning where I was talking about if you're feeling pre-shift anxiety every time you're going to work, and you've tried talking to your coworkers and you've tried different things on your unit, maybe it's time to reconsider what unit you're on. Maybe you should reflect a little bit and see like, are you happy and satisfied or do you want something else? Do you need different acuity levels or patients who are less sick or patients who are more sick? Do you need more patients or less patients? How can you fix your environment to be the best it can be for you. There's so many options, there's so many facets of nursing. You are not tied down to one. You are not stuck in anything. And if I give you any piece of advice here before we... Life is too short. Life is way too short to be miserable in anything that you're doing. So if you're not happy, find what makes you happy. A new job, a new town, new friends, whatever it is, you, you can do it. It's your happiness first, it's your life first. Remember, you are you first before you're a nurse, before you're a mom, before you're a friend. You are you and you need to figure out what makes your heart full. All right, friends, those are my words of wisdom today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and click down below, like, subscribe, comment while you're down there. Let me know what you guys like to see because I would love to keep putting content out. This is like the best part of being a nurse. 
is that I get to make YouTube content related to being a nurse and like help the people where I was because I looked to the YouTube nurses to help me. So yes, please comment. I wanna to talk to you guys, I wanna be involved. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna watch funny stuff. But let's stay connected and I will see you beautiful people in my next video.